live. All the way live. It's the last weekend of uh, Black History Month, Ski. Uh, ready? I'm ready. You know what that means. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Flat out, last week of Black History, man. You know what I'm saying? That's was some most definitely uh, some blues right there. Oh, yeah, man. That's some of that good old soul music. You feel me? Okay. Flat out. Um, This is the Ill Max Showcast Whiskey brought to you by Urban Access Network. Uh, Yeah, every next fit gone. They officially fired. Okay. They fired. Flat That's out. That's Ill Mac and I'm the bro host. Yeah, I'm Ill Mac. And they fired? Ill Mac, you know what I'm saying? Your host, I got my bro host with me, Ski. We got family in the building. Mr. Travelaco, you know what, what I'm saying? What's good? Uh, newly life coach. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Meet you in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? Cigar aficionado. Aficionado. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you did that. But, uh, yeah, man. Every next week, tripping, Ski. We done. Hey. We done. My mans came in and said we leveling up, so. And I heard about some scandal stuff, too. We'll we talk about that. Hold on. Thing. We got to give oh, y'all, y'all flowers first because y'all okay. doing a damn thing in 2022. Oh, oh, man, thank you, I came you know in here. I gave y'all flowers. I'm For like, sure. I'm seeing y'all yeah. leveling up. Y'all got the video on Smash. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. Y'all got okay. YouTube on Smash. I've been checking okay. out y'all shit. It's looking uh, yeah. good. Appreciate looking real beautiful, that, man. Flat out, man. Okay. Kings got to show Kings love. Absolutely. Right I don't know how often y'all get y'all flowers when y'all do y'all show, but I'm 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 I'll be the first to come on her and give y'all y'all flowers. You did oh so. yeah all day, dog. But uh, ski, how was the week, man? Man, we had that ice hit the rim on the curb this week. Really? What? Yeah. Oh, what? Really, how nigga? You, how you do that? I came around uh, Paho. <laughs> they yeah, they out here bad. In the they out here right deep. Now. They get them I ain't bullshit. Deep. Landmines. You know <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The motherfuckers is landmines, bro. I'm, 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 All day. Shit going to get right, though. I'm going to have to take them on into the shop. So what you what you had to do, that? Put some iron in the tire, but the rim a little bent. Okay. You, I, I can see it. It's right there by where you put the iron in the tire. So. Okay. So mm-hmm. what you, you just going to get a new rim, or you going to try to have somebody fix get that to get, Yeah, um, Yeah, it ain't uh, fucked up like that. Oh, okay. But it's slightly bent where we need to go round and round. Okay. Full 360 on, on all four tires. Facts, so I got to get that together. I ain't no mechanic, but I know know how to ride. <laughs> you, I know how to ride. And we can't <laughs> ride like that. You can't ride like that? Yeah, I had to put the iron in the tire, so it might have to get a new tire and rim fixed. But we got to get out. <laughs> got to level up. My man said we need to level up. So might as well go and throw some tools on that bitch. Look at you. Try to bring back. Throw some Vos on the, <laughs> some Vos on the leg, nigga. Slap it. You know what I'm Man, saying? Week was cool. Work was cool. Uh, shit, me and the girls, we slid through the popcorn spot. Pop, pop, array. Black on. Okay. And uh, Floors. Uh, they went in, got, Ed got the regular daggler. You Chicago know why I don't fuck mix. with the popcorn spots, bro? Why not? I don't be thinking that shit be fresh, good. I need my popcorn hot if I'm going to buy it. Out of somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm I'm gonna say this: like movie cop, movie popcorn be Fresh. hot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, they be having it in the bag already, and I'd be like, "Fam, can I get my my shit right?" You know what I'm saying? Well, for as it being preserved, from what I see, it was fresh. <laughs> okay, and then they put it in the bag though. But I, I get what you're saying. Like you, it was talking about that fresh grease, fresh straight from the. Yeah. From the pop, straight to the bag. Get right. Straight up. It ain't never fresh, though. He make yeah. a good point. Yeah, it ain't never, it's in, if it's in the it's bag and it's there. been sitting on the shelf yeah. for 30 minutes, yeah. it got at least a little hint of stale on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. And movie popcorn be the best popcorn. All yeah. day. Yeah, Put that yeah. fresh melted butter on there, you win it. Gotta do it. Oh, man. Meese, what's been popping, man? You been around the world two times. I'm chilling, bro. I ain't trying to travel too much no more this year. Straight up? Trying to keep it low profile. Okay. Yeah. Trying to keep it low profile. Yeah, trying to keep it low profile for now. So, okay. I mean, where you been? I saw you had the uh, 
the goddamn your airport craze, man. You was you was in the airport. It was about last year. I six thousand people in the airport yeah. with you, bro. Yeah, you know what I did? What I did was I bought that clear. Uh huh. Because I'm I'm the type of cat. I don't like to get to the airport two hours before or ninety minutes oh, okay. before. I try to get that like twenty minutes before it's time to. Oh, and okay. I get on clear and I just jump the line. So that's what okay. I like to do. So you're yeah, right. Man. That was in D.C. That was at the what? beginning of the year. Okay. The line was wrapped all the way outside on the. I don't know if anybody been in DC airport, but I ain't never seen it that crowded. And then when I got in, it was still crowded. Mm. And so I was like, I, I had my flight canceled because they got us on the plane. It was snow uh. all on the tarmac. And oh, I'm like, you man. know, we ain't finna leave. And they was <laughs> like, well, <laughs> you can sit on the plane or you can go back in the terminal. I'm like, I'm finna go back in the terminal. Right. Right? And then I start talking to people and then they come to find out, like, I knew we wasn't leaving. So I left and I went to. Uh, it was a line outside Southwest, but I had the little, I got the little A-plus shit, so I just jumped everybody, and then I just found the place to stay in, and I was good. So when you fly, you okay. VIP, VIP. Well, I'm trying. Well, so, well, you know, a little bit, a little razzle uh, down. Little clear, Sprinkle. Is, is clear worth it? Uh, I think clear and TSA pre-check is both worth it. Okay. I don't see how people you, who, I don't see how, like, celebrities who fly out the town ain't got a TSA pre-check. I be seeing, like, Webby going through the regular line. I'm like, Webby, you know it's a TSA pre-check, bro. Yeah. <laughs> right. <Flat out. laughs> that nigga. Like, because it's all it is is $85 for five years, I think. Straight okay. up? Five years? Yeah. How much clear? Same thing? Clear is yearly. I think they charge him like one twenty, one forty a year. Okay, but it's worth it when you just you go fine. up to the airport. Yeah. You just jump the regular line and you through there in okay. like five minutes. Yeah, yeah if you go, if you flying at least five to ten times a year, I think you need to get it. clear. Though you can't, you got to take off your shoes with TSA pre check. If you got TSA and clear, you don't have to take off your shoes. Okay, yeah, that's what's up, dog. So DC, where else you been? Flat out. I've Seattle, seen you in a few places. Seattle. Oakland, New York. I was Oakland, cuz. It was a different <laughs> vibe. Yeah, I liked it. It was love out there. It surprised me. Oakland was cool. Um, where else? I, man, I went to Colorado. I went to Florida. I went to Arizona. Mr. Trevor Lago, this nigga been out here. I was, yeah, Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, fuck. I was going to a lot of places last year. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Last year, I can't even think of all the places offhand. Yeah. Man. DC, few times back and forth. So straight up. Yeah. So yeah, man. How you getting? What, look, what's up with what made you do the uh, the life coach skit? That you was just feeling it. That you, oh you just man, it like, you know what? Because you like, know everybody's me, selling the course. Everybody's selling the course. Everybody's selling the course, and I just was just making light of everybody selling these little courses. So that's why yeah. I'm like, sign up for my course. Right. Normally <laughs> is this, but for you, okay. Because I fuck with you, I'm gonna okay. give you it to it for thirty nine ninety five. Okay. <laughs> you feel me? Straight up, everybody's okay. selling the course. So right. I just was making light and it light of like that. that. Should be working. It do. It do. Straight up. It do. It do. Flat out. Like it do. The course game is the game. Mm. Everybody want to motivate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I thought about doing some reverse motivation. What's that? Just getting online. Like, you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to do shit today. You know what I'm saying? All that shit you had playing today, you ain't going to do it. <laughs> you feel me? And just do it every day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You Why will a, a motherfucker will pay for that shit, bro? Oh yeah, like a, actually that'll motivate somebody. Like that, that's some good shit. Yeah, Damn, you that's, know what I'm saying? That's funny. Yeah, right out. Uh-huh. You ugly as a motherfucker. You you think you cute? Get out of here. Your BBL trash. You feel me? <laughs> I thought about doing it, but you know I ain't really the negative type of guy, so that'd be hard for me to do every day. You have to get encouraged. Nah, you just you just have a recording and keep looping that. You sell the recordings to motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> there it is right now. You just got to record it once. Wow. Hey, you got to buy this recording. This is gonna be your motivation, right? <laughs> and then make a course how to be how to give negative vibes, reverse psychology. You know what I'm saying? Man. So the war going on, man. If uh, people don't know out there, uh, Russia and the U- Russia invaded the Ukraine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Putin trying to show how big his nuts is. And uh, it ain't looking good, man. Recently, I heard he got the nuclear team on on some standby. I think that's a bluff, though. Mm. Flat out. But, Ski, what you know about it? I just know motherfuckers need to take that shit serious. 
Yeah, cause I ain't. I mean, you know, it's more to what we just seeing on TV. But either if you listening or reading about it, it's just like I, I don't know. So I I seen some comedians they had broke down the broke down. They um, broke down the broke down. Yeah, like <laughs> where they where they the areas and all of that is where the Ukraine is and right. what surrounds them and who they connected with, and then more or less who the United States is connected with. You know what I'm saying? Right. They got something to do with what they got going on over there, but it ain't it ain't all fun and games though. You know what I'm saying? And I see motherfuckers saying like they finna go over there or that. Let me cor- correct myself. They're about to go over there. We ain't doing no finna. I keep looking yeah. at the F and A's. Fuck them. Oh damn! <laughs> Thinking of the feelings. in his but, feelings. Yeah, man. But uh, you, so you what's don't want to go over there. What's your plan, though? I know you got you got to a plan to get the family out of here. If it go nuclear, ain't no reason to go in the underground bunker. That's for you niggas who don't know shit. I ain't know either. I, I learned that recently. Too. Nah, break that down. I don't know what you mean by that. Because go if ahead. you go, if it's an underground bunker, your air still coming from outside. Ah, yeah, flat out. So, got to ah, have, okay. you got to have oxygen unless you got an oxygen source or something like ah. that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up, that's what they said, dog. That's what the army guy said. Dog. Ah, so is <laughs> hell no. Nah. These motherfuckers spending that's all this crazy, fucking money right. talking about Kansas and shit, yeah. man. These underground yeah. silos and shit. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. Unless you got an oxygen source, you know what I'm saying? You over with. Like you got to have a planetarium down there if you ain't going You yeah, over with, bro. You still got to get your your air supply. Got to come from somewhere. Wow, yeah, it got to come from somewhere. Flat out. Yeah, you can't just yeah. yeah. You gotta have oxygen. You just can't close yourself in the box without no oxygen. Eh? Damn, you just so, probably gotta go to the, one of the most remote places on this country where it ain't no defense shit at. Yeah, as long mm-hmm. as you ain't there like a Boeing or a fucking Lockheed Martin or the Pentagon or a military base, you might be good. Yeah, right. You really gotta think about that. That's how you got because I've been people with Russia been doing. They've been hitting like military targets or where they think military shit is at. Mm-hmm. Fucking up. So that's their game plan. They they just trying to hit the military spots. Allegedly, that's what they saying. They not really trying to fuck with civilians. I seen them hit the airport though. Yeah, they did fuck yeah. the airport. Up, ain't man. nobody going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they but it's fucked up, man. Wait, yeah. I seen and some. Then other... I, they were showing like the they not letting the uh, black people get on the train. The black people, where is? Just for us, like, people protesting about the situation. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like a residual effect. Just because they go on the war, it's other stick that's going on in the world, too. But it's overseas, though. It ain't. It wasn't nothing going on in the States, though. So it was somewhere like England or London or somewhere where, like, they were straight boycotting black people getting on the uh, getting on yeah, the train. Yeah, I ain't heard nothing about that. I had to show you that after the cat. But it's all because of the Ukraine going to war, though. Yeah. So the thing right. with the, the way the U.S. is going to get in this is China is back in Russia, right? That's the fucked up shit. China back in Russia. Man. United States, we behind the Ukraine. You know what I'm saying? We got our own allies in this. Mm-hmm. So if it get deep and China get involved, then we gonna have to get involved, and that's where they saying that the the big debacle gonna come from. Flat out, that's what they say. Cause China, just cause China backing them up. Yeah, just cause China backing them up. You feel me? Flat out, must be two sides. What I hope. You thinking, I hope. Dog? I hope none of that's true. I hope it's not true. Oh, uh, it's true. Because we don't want that real. That because that's some like that's some serious shit. What you talking about? Yeah. Like, what you talking about? Like. Man, like we gonna be out here having guns, <laughs> yeah. trying to protect, protect yeah. our because because the question is, if the, if motherfuckers start coming over here, what are we gonna do? Exactly, that's a good ass question. Like, are you gonna get motherfucking government say we got eight Ks or nigga? You gonna grab eight K? Right. Yeah, you, exactly. hey. that's some real shit right yeah, there, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like niggas really need to start thinking of a plan. Like, I I, mean, I want to start a militia. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> like the first, straight up, 
Like, uh, Real, like, like who was my people's? Who was my people's that we was on last year, man? The uh, militia people, dog. Oh man, it's a black militia, dog. They was uh, they went up to the uh, the KKK uh, spot. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I saw yeah, that old yeah. boy with the sunglasses yeah, and shit. Yeah. yeah, they say he a fit. Ah. Uh. Well, that's, that's what they say. He yeah. still claim he not, but I think he a fit. <laughs> All right. And um, when they pulled up, man, any group, any big group of black people that get together and strapped, yeah, and they let them do what they want to do, <laughs> the government involved some type of way, bro. It's like just like cocaine and crack, bro. You let all these niggas make all this money. <laughs> And y'all ain't y'all just gonna let these niggas make money like niggas it was drug dealers that was out here for years, bro. For they got caught, for they locked them up, man. Like, come on, bro. They ain't finna let nobody just run around like that. But you say you want to start a militia, huh? Let's I mean, I definitely think niggas need to get together and like, um, like make a survival crew. Yeah, you gotta protect your family. Yeah, you gotta protect your family, my family. Like, yeah. so it's like the men gonna be the first one to go. Exactly. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we stronger together. And I mean, at that point, it's not even about America; it's about survival. It's about survival. You know, because when you think about, because I I was looking at some shit yesterday, and I seen all these people grabbing weapons, men, women. I that mm. fucked me up. I'm like, damn, this shit real out there. Right. You know what I'm really, saying? Bro. It's about survival now. It's about survival. Yeah. So, yeah, dog. so it it really like. Niggas got to get that survival crew together. And, like, really, like, the doomsday preppers have meetings, bro. Like, especially if they stay in the same neighborhood, they have meetings. In these meetings, they discuss who's going to do what. The women in charge of the food and the nourishment. We put get us a, a, a gardening team together or something so we could just pull all the shit out the ground if we got to and pack it up. Like, they get deep. But trust, they ready. And the worst thing you want to happen is shit hit the fan and you just at the crib. <laughs> That's you know what I'm saying? And you ain't got no plan. So now it's like, what you going to do? Flat out. You going to call the kids and see where the kids that tell them come home? What the hell they going to do when they come home? What's the plan after that? You can have the guns. You know, shit. I feel like people don't want to have these conversations, though. No, they don't. Because honestly, like, because I'm a firm believer in this, like, everybody talk about violence in the inner city, right? Mm -hmm. And I necessarily don't believe it's as violent as it once was. Because when you go through history, when you look back, there's always been chaos. And we in a period of relative peace. Mm -hmm. Like, realistically, like, if you, because even if you look at the FBI numbers from what it is now to what it was in the 80s, there's less crime. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's less crime now than it was 20, 30 years ago when we was kids and shit like this. So right. I yeah. just don't think people want to have those real conversations about that. I think people worried about paycheck, job, this girl, this situation, that situation. But what you're saying is some real shit. It's something that really make you think. Yeah. Flat out. And, you know, I understand it's the mindset of how we grew up. Right. A lot of us grew up on a day-to-day basis, bro. You know what I'm saying? We don't know how we're going to make it tomorrow, but we're going to make it. You feel me? So it's hard for us to think eight months from now when the war get over here. Right. It's so far away. It's like, nigga, please. Nigga, we ain't worried about this nah, shit. that's a fact. But that's why once shit happened, everything be going off the shelf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> COVID happened. Niggas took tissue. The fuck you take a tissue for? Nigga, we get, a, get an ice storm, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they cleaning it out. Niggas... <laughs> Fight out. Chicks out here hey. buying niggas six gallons of milk, nigga. It's supposed to be an ice storm. Yeah, they getting all of the canned goods. <laughs> all of the canned goods. All of the snacks. Paper plates. <laughs> all of the lunch meat. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no chicken yeah. wings on the shelf. You got to really find them. And then it's when you find them, people yeah. either want to either say they don't want to pay that much or they paying. So it's like shit just limited, bro. But it's certain shit that you need to know if you're going to go rogue. Right? Right. So what I need everybody to do is go on Amazon, get you a couple of fishing poles. Once you warm up, take your ass out there and learn how to catch some fish. Yeah, say fishing bread. Learn how to hey, learn how to learn how to fillet them hoes. Learn how to start a fire. 
Nigga, you got to get you, you know another what I'm saying? knife. You Speaking gonna, on that. Like I was telling the wife, yes, you're going to need a shotgun. If you run across a deer or, uh, or something, you're going to want to kill it. You're going to want to have to learn. You're gonna, it's going to be disgusting. But you're going to have to do it. So you need to start looking at videos of how to skin a deer and quarter that thing up. I'm just saying. This nigga is This stuff, be. look, this is stuff white people know when they 11. Trust and believe, bro. Ed finna be out here telling my folks to eat squirrels. Hey, y'all, shit. y'all need yeah. like a survival edition. Y'all need, y'all like y'all following you on ski. Y'all need to do a survival. <laughs> oh, we shit. need to go on a yeah. Go y'all on need to show niggas something. how to be survival, okay. like yeah. how to make a fire. You okay. heard me? The yeah. How to shit. fish? Okay. How to skin is fi- yeah. yeah. Okay, flat out. We could do that. Yeah, we could most definitely do the fish. Prep. The yeah. black dudes they <laughs> prepper. Yeah, black. D- the black dude, like I was, t- I, put, I, put, I made a list on the cash yesterday at Wifey. Man. You gotta have a fit in Hennessy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Flat out. You gotta have some tree put up. You gotta have that. That's what's gonna keep you calm. Your hand gonna be steady when you do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, all you need, all that, all that stuff they got in the bag, all, all a nigga need uh, is Robert Tussin, Neosporin, and some band aids. That's the survival kit right there. You forgot the peroxide. <laughs> peroxide. Or the, or, the, or the green alcohol. Yeah, green alcohol. Yeah, you know, dog. But yeah, survival. Uh, they really, yeah, niggas really need to start trying to like really get a plan together. Flat out. Yeah. Because if you ain't got no plan, bro, it's going to be, you're going you gonna to lose before you even think about winning. But wow. it's serious. And people don't see it. It's so far. If people think it's so far away, but it really ain't that far away. All, all Russia really have to do is go into one of them NATO allies mm-hmm. territory, and it's it. It's up. It's up. It's up That's for what real. I'm saying. That's they all close they have to too. do. Like, and, and, and everything up for grabs. They might start trying to bomb over here. Type exactly. shit. Like, that's all. I don't think you're right. Like, it's like that close that's to some I'm real saying. shit. Yeah. If you look on the map and you, you see where NATO is, it's like, damn. Yeah, I mean, far is relative. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if you're going to walk through Russia, that's far as fuck. Yeah. But if you're going to drop a nuclear, that motherfucker around the corner. Well, or even if you look at fucking Alaska, it's right Mm -hmm. there. Yeah. If I can see Russia. Exactly. So, she can get sketchy, man. Just stay stay woke, stay to the streets, at least turn CNN on at least 10 minutes a day so uh, black people can stay abreast. Of what's going on in the military streets, man. Yeah. Flat out. But, <laughs> Ski, you watch Snowfall? Nah, I ain't tapped in yet. Oh, you fucking up. Have you seen you? any of them? Yeah. Okay. Not, 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 not the I haven't one. caught up on them. It's out now? Yeah, it's out now. It's a fish. Yeah. Okay, where you, one of you niggas abreast. Where you watching it at? On Hulu. Yeah, that's why I'm going to yeah. holler at Hulu. Yeah. You going to holler at Hulu? Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I got the Hulu. I got the Julio. You got the Julio. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to catch it in on there. But, uh, because I'll say, motherfucker coming back fire, too. Straight up. Franklin look like he been in the weight room. Something like Franklin been from in the what weight I room. Seen. He got him a little chick now, you know. She look like a MILF. I ain't going to spoil it for you niggas. Yeah, yeah don't, man. don't. But, yeah, flat I've out. I've been checking out their Yeezys, though. Ah, uh, yeah, I seen that. You seen that? I seen it. Oh, you know I got to watch yeah. that. Flat Part out. of shit on Netflix right now for the documentary, hands down. You know, you know what stood out to me in that whole thing was mm-hmm. that his mom had his back. Like that fucked me up on it. His mom was his biggest fan. The uh, support goes so hard, bro. I think without seeing that documentary, I think I'm like, I know he talked about his mom, but physically seeing what mm-hmm. she had to say. Yeah. And where she was at around the time where he was at and doing what he was doing. I'm like, damn, she her was energy, right there. Bro. Her energy yeah. was crazy. Like bro. His, yeah. his mom seemed like the type of person to come on this podcast, talk shit, drink wine, just laugh. Yeah. You know, like yeah. just down to earth. Really yeah. Talk. Straight up. Yeah, yeah, that was deep. But, though. I mean, and that's what people have to look for in who they going to be with, too. Yeah. Message. Out. Yeah. Like, Yellow shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, wifey, like, because wifey quit her job. She got her own in home health care now. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what's up. But she wouldn't have been able to do that with a nigga who, like, she hit me up, like, yo, I'm ready to quit. I'm just going to start doing private duty. I'm like, all right, bet. Yeah, Flat man. out. Let's get that's it. What's up? That's but what's up. that's why you got to have that, though. Like, if Kanye mama was a negative mama, you know what I'm saying? Man, I guess it would have been totally different. He wouldn't have had the confidence he had, bro. But I guess like just I guess her just being a mama, 
she was just hella influential just yeah. because she was there. And yeah. she, I mean, in the shot, literally. Well, I ain't, I ain't we're really, not going to do that because our mamas ain't, ain't them type of mamas. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, when when he uh, went to New York, I ain't, I guess I kind of didn't remember, like, he actually left the shot and went to New York. You, you, know what you I'm wouldn't saying? remember that because you ain't know him then. No, yeah. I'm saying when Through the Wire was coming out and I'm just looking at the video nah, and then I'm reading about Kanye, I didn't know that. Like, when I say she was there, I mean, like, I I thought wherever he is, she was right there. But she uh, was in the shadow. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, if you don't really see the documentary, you just kind of either know or you don't know. But No, nah, but you like you said, you don't know because, like, a lot of us didn't really know the story behind it. Yeah. He just yeah. appeared out. Of, to us, he just, to me, he appeared out of nowhere. It's that like, was yeah. old, too. Especially all, yeah. the, like, especially all the stuff in the beginning. Yeah. For the first episode. Like, yeah. I never knew, like you said, I never knew Kanye was in Jersey. Yeah, I yeah, didn't know yeah, that. yeah. I never would have thought Kanye would have been in Jersey. Uh-huh. New York, yeah. Jersey, nah. Right. You know what I'm saying? That apartment looked like a uh you ever seen like anywhere just like at a building, it had like a greenhouse on top <laughs> yeah. of the building. Yeah. yeah. But the, the yeah. windows was I don't yeah. know if they was ten. I'm like, damn, okay. But he got all his shit. He had all the yeah. studio stuff yeah. on us. So I'm was like working. Yeah. That's another thing work. that was crazy. To hear the hits before they was hits. And to see how niggas was just walking around chilling ah! and the hits hey, was bro. playing. You know what I'm saying? Mama. Like, y'all niggas need to pay attention to this shit. Like, that shit was crazy. So, so to that point, it's a dude named Wayne. Wayne you see him on Everyday Struggle. Yeah. He had made a comment on Twitter and uh-huh. was saying, like, y'all wasn't there. You got to understand that he would come in our office and play it, like, 10, 15 times. We didn't heard that song 10, 15, 20 times already. But I'm like, nigga, it's a hit. Yeah. Like, you can't hear that, like. It, yeah. Sleeping. Like, yeah. hating. He's still hating now. Like, yeah. Yeah, and it's like, like it. that was another thing that fucked me up. Like, yeah. to see them sleeping on yay. Yeah. Like. And he was around. I mean, he was around for a purpose. Mm-hmm. Clearly, we seen he was on a mission, but it was like, damn, all of them people was around him when he was trying to yeah. really pop his shit off the way he wanted to pop his shit off. Yeah. But what fucked me up, my nigga said, I used to walk on the tracks, nigga. Yeah. Practicing my Grammy speech. Oh, yeah. But then it's like, yeah, it's relative because when you when you look at how they did them, oh, yeah. I can totally understand Kanye's attitude today. I can totally understand it, bro. I ain't having no bullshit. He not had enough. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, though. Because they ain't have to do nothing but just seeing them, just how they was looking at them and just... They was listening, but not listening uh, uh, earful enough to be like, yeah, it's time. Yeah. Bruh. And real Chicago nigga shit, when he, he debuted the video, uh-huh. and Dame showed up, and I he still the, uh, talked this shit. Oh, uh, yeah, pardon the interruption. Yeah. But it was, that I funded by me. Yeah, did, I didn't, you didn't know. <laughs> that's, that's That was the kickoff, and he yeah. was like, damn, but that's crazy, though. In the, in the process of giving the whole speech. And like, oh, okay, I see that shit. And yeah. then I, I don't know what it was. I don't know where they was in. They was like saying they was going to sign them. But I guess for me, was it I Ruckus, didn't see. Ruckus Records, I think. Ruckus, yeah. or was the base? It was Ruckus, I think. Ruckus. Yeah, it was Ruckus. Yeah. Ruckus said they they wanted to sign them. The A&R was trying to get them. Yeah. The white boy with the uh no, the black the black dude. Who's oh, the okay. A&R. You remember the black dude? Yeah. Like, I'm trying, okay. But his bosses didn't want to sign them. Yeah. Okay. They okay. was talking on the block. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, that nigga was out here, bro. Like, he was out here. But that's how you got to be out here, dog. But you, you, it's, it's good motivation because it's like if you believe in yourself, it don't matter what other people think as long yeah. as you believe in yourself. Like, it's some real shit. Yeah. Straight up. My man was going to MTV after hours. Having oh, yeah. his homeboy get some experiences in working with the shits and having somebody else in MTV yeah. here. I'm like, damn, like he wasn't bullshitting. Like and see at that time niggas knew about yet. Right. Flat yeah, out. he was walking around with the chain on. Yeah, but you, yeah. and that's what tripped me out too, because even though you would think he had the money like that, mm-hmm. nigga was just making it. Too. Thirty thirty three thousand. Yeah, bro. cause he was going you remember that car when they went to his mom's old house, they was in like a beat up looking high. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I'm like yeah. <laughs> Like that is yay. <laughs> you feel me? That was crazy, bro. But yeah, dog. My but it was just we'd never know at the Grammys, but 
That's crazy, though, bro. Yeah, dog. That was crazy. Skip, you ready for black history? All right, we can come on with it, though. Because oh, I don't know, man. I, I be having a conversation or a debate with a lot of people because I don't, and everybody didn't hurt the spirit. You know, everybody deal with a loved one or a past one, how they deal with it, right? Right. Right. But I was just basically saying, like, I seen, I could physically say, because, nigga, I was, we came out in O2, the collar being popped, the polos. Mr. Polo himself, I mean, Mr. Ralph Lauren, like, doing the damn thing. But, yeah, he was humble. He was more exciting back then or whatever. Now it's just like, you can't tell him shit. But I had the, the, not even a debate. We just had a discussion with people for us, like, how he was before his mom passed. You know what I'm saying? And I just flat out say, well, everybody deal with a loved one differently but the things you implement to the world for is your reactions. Yeah. Everybody wanted to just say, oh, that nigga crazy. He was tripping after his mama passed away. Or, you know, it's just like, yeah. I mean, you ain't got the answer for it. You know and what that's, I'm that's saying? that's another thing like, that's crazy, damn. man. Like, it's, a fact. It's, it's really messed up that she died. Then with him, trying to, uh, 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 it just, it's, it's, it's just like real things happen in real time. Like you was just speaking on the hits. We heard them before they was hits. Well, we, you know, they hits, but in a documentary at that time, they wouldn't put out yet. Right. So I'm just like, bro. It's just, man. He got a little bit more uh, respect from Ski, man. Real talk. And I ain't never disrespect him. It's just more or less for us the things that interested me that I seen watching the documentary. I was cool with that. It what nobody told me about. Nah, no, I seen this shit. Like, damn. Yeah. Okay. It was it was it was deep too to just see how beautiful and how bright his mama was and like with the flip phones she, and shit. She died from yeah. having plastic surgery. Yeah, that fucked me up. I was like, why, mama? Yeah. That was some insecurities there. Yeah, it's that's like up. why, mama? Like, man, yeah, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, man. Yeah. Straight up. But yeah, I definitely think that's what really threw my nigga off the rails a little bit. Uh, like it would anybody though. Like somebody said, like you don't. That's not saying you're supposed to act crazy when somebody passed away. I'm like, yeah, that's true. I'm just saying, like, yeah, he's still a human being, so he could tell you how he feel and what's going on. But it's just like, yeah, some of the shit now that yeah. he say that his mom passed away, it just be off the wall. Yeah, I can agree. You know what I'm saying with his fashion, it switched up. Yeah. From preppy to high, high rocking that, and then everybody on the Yeezy. If you, you Yeezy, Yeezy if you ain't. You gonna get you some boots? Nah, I need to get me a pair of Yeezys. <laughs> get you get a pair of Yeezys? Yeezys. I'm gonna get yeah. Because I wanted Very to get some slide shoe. runners, too. Very comfortable shoe that just came with the black and blue ones, too. Yeah, I like them all red slide runners, too. I can't buy them, no, I'm stacking. I'm gonna get them later on. Yeah, later on. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they gonna come. All right, come on. You ready for Black History, dog? Man, let the people know, bro. This is the last week. We episode 180 today. Oh. Yeah, 180 ball today. Uh, Let's go, brother. Let's get it. What? Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to kick it off today, man, for the first black president today. You know what I'm saying? I be indulging with my kids on their history, and I appreciate the school system. They've they been on game. Since the pandemic. Okay. Because I was a little curious. There was a lot of time at the creep. Okay. We're going to kick this off with the first black president, man. Change will not come if we wait mm. for the some other person. Okay. No, let me go back again. We're going to say that. Double back, bro. Double back. Double back. Change will not come yeah. if we wait for some other person mm -hmm. or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Mm. We are the change that has we seek. So I'm going to say that last part again. Yeah, please say it again. We <laughs> are the ones yeah. we've been waiting for. Uh. We are the change that right. a, no, no, that we seek. Okay. Some self-reflect right there. But that's, real, that's Barack Obama. Okay. How many you ending with two today? Or you just hitting them with the one? Mm -mm, we finna keep on going. Let's go, baby. Black History Month. It's the last week of Black History Month, man. You can't separate peace mm. 
from freedom. Okay. Because no one can be at peace uh-huh. unless he has his freedom. Mm. Malcolm X. Woo! This is a little deep right here. I know that was. Are we getting deep. another one? Yeah, we might get two more. Okay. Racism isn't born, folks. It's taught. Mm-hmm. I have a two year old son. You know what he hates? Naps. End of list. Denise Leary. That was for those tired niggas right there, Skip. <laughs> what else you got? Uh, We're going to end it with this one right here. Okay. Success mm-hmm. is to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached mm. in life as by the obstacles which he has overcome. While trying to succeed, Whew. that's for all my kings right there and all my queens. Hey, that was deep. That was deep. You had to go deep. I had to go. You said it was the last week, so I had to. I had to go deep. Straight up, dog. Yeah. Flat out. Till next year. Black Flat History out. Ski Black History Month 2022, brought to you first by Urban Access. Go like, drop a comment on YouTube, go subscribe, keep running the page up. I know we hit 1K, but the next goal is 10K. Yeah, we we going by 10. You hear me? All day. We only going by 10. That's a, that's a good number to me. Shout out to the noobs. Yeah. But, uh. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, matter of fact, my little girl, my oldest, she got a project. She doing Josephine Baker. Okay. So that's why I was just saying, like, it seemed like this one, they really been putting some time into it. And shout out to my lady. She been throwing her bulletin boards up, doing her little arts and crafts thing. Okay. On Black History. Okay. But uh, yeah, man, I think people was kind of sleeping this year on Black History Month, but we've been hitting them though, especially Urban Access. Yeah. You know what people, I'm people sleep on everything. I'm patting days, myself. Man. Straight up. <laughs> One good time on the back. Really, nigga. <laughs> oh, the nigga pat himself on the back. Okay. One time. Straight up. Meach, what's been on your mind, man? What you want to discuss, man? Nah, this is just an inter- I'm glad to be in the <laughs> presence of entertainment. Okay. I like the little black history shit. You like, I, it, that's some serious shit with you. Speaking. I had, you oh, said yeah. this yeah. last week. Yeah. I said, fuck it, I'm going to go deep. Nah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm I felt, I felt like I really felt yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like we going to take you back to grade school in, oh, yeah. in, 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 in the 90s. Where we where we used to do this shit all the time, flat out, yeah. Got to straight stand up. You heard? Got to stand up. Flat out, shed some light. Sit Indian style and shit, cut. Flat out, flat out. But yeah, <laughs> man, I heard you ranting about women one day, man. Oh uh, yeah, you know it's always about a woman. I forgot the rant. That's what was all, the, what was that's the rant all about? weakness. It's, I, I I'm always. I think it was about them not knowing what they want or something. You, some you, of that sort. That, you seen that show Love Is Blind yet on Netflix? Uh no, you gotta watch it with your wifey. You okay. have to watch it with your wifey. Love is blind. Yeah, because like it seemed like to me, because what it is basically the setup is like they talking to someone of the opposite sex and you can't see them, so okay. you really trying to fall in love based on their personality. Mm. But what I've seen mm. more so from. The women, now it has been a few men, but mm-hmm. I've seen the women, when they see the man, mm-hmm. you can tell they ain't feeling them off. <laughs> okay. Okay, so is this done like over, over the over the phone or they, they No, it's like they they talking and it's, it's like, like a connection. wall. They go into a little dining room set. It's like a little couch on both sides, but you can't see the person. Y'all just meeting each other okay. talking like that. Yeah, like, so it's, it's straight like love connection. Like love connection. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't so the thing is is that you have to decide whether or not you want to propose to this person that you like. Oh, motherfuckers out here playing guess who. <laughs> uh <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> really, nigga? <laughs> Guess who? Hell. Oh hell no! Hell no! Is it really Guess who? <laughs> really, nigga? Oh, this thing is ignorant, dog. That's what they doing. And so, hell like no. you, you don't, you don't, you decide to. 
propose to this person and mm-hmm. you don't see him until you hand that person a ring. Mm. Wow. Okay. And so the whole premise is, is love blind? Mm. That's why it's called Love is Blind. Oh, uh, man. But what I've noticed on the women on the show is like, some of the women, when they see these dudes, they not really feeling them. Like they be having the fake physically. smile on. Oh, ah, okay. Like and then they and and so and just instead of telling a the dude they don't like him, they come up with reasons. Like this one girl on the show in season two, she don't like this dude. This dude even said he's like, "This girl's out of my league." <laughs> Damn, I normally can talk to a girl like that. I can tell you right now, that hey, is bro, not from you, city. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, bro, walked up Straight to her, tried to give her a kiss, and she did like this, like, Ugh. "Damn, I'm like, yeah, she ain't feeling you, wow. bro." And so instead of telling the dude she ain't feeling him. She she just called off their engagement because she basically said that he's not a guy for a man. Oh, uh, <laughs> what? But the dude never picked up on it. Like, I picked up on it as soon as they saw each other. Like, yeah, she ain't feeling you, bro. Yeah. But she liked this other dude mm-hmm. that got hooked up with this other girl that was on the show. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> hell no. Yeah, y'all got to That'd be I'm, a I'm good comment. On y'all podcast, when you and wifey, that'd be a good conversation starter in that, just watching that show. Yeah, you might be able to watch it and uh, start reviewing it. I'm always ranting about a woman, though. Straight I think up. a woman controls everything. She does. You know what? I was telling the women, I was telling the queens this on the podcast, right? On me and wifey podcast. Y'all, I said, because I said all women kill their men, right? Mm-hmm. All women kill their men. You know how a woman does. A woman doesn't realize you control the nutritional value in your household. Oh. You go to the grocery store. Yeah, you control what your man ink takes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, therefore, it's your job to study the flavors he likes and just make it healthier. So, it's the, if he like cheeseburgers, maybe you cook turkey burgers. You know what I'm saying? Like, but. Women don't even think like that, bro. No, nah, like I, I was I was telling somebody this recently. Like, you know how a pastor in church and then the congregation congregation be like, Yes, yes, God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be like, God, and he'd be going, he'd be going crazy. <laughs> and the church would be like, Yeah, like I need a woman that's gonna be in the congregation. Like, whatever I say, yeah, baby, I'm on your team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby, he going. That's what I need, you hear me? <laughs> Straight up, Hell man. Nah. Flat out. Okay. Flat, because as a black man, we got like, like my thing is the home is my safe place, right? Facts. I go through enough in the world. Yeah. When I come here, it's supposed to be the easiest place for me to be. You feel me? Right. Like I shouldn't have no big issues here. And it's always gonna be little issues everywhere. Right. It shouldn't be no big issues here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the story of the nigga who get off work and hit the bar before he go home or sit in the driveway. Ah, oh, sit in nigga, the driveway. That shit Trash. real, bro. Yeah, that's real. That shit real. Yeah. But I think it's partly because a lot of women don't let their men be men. Like, you have to let a man be a man. True. Like, that's like, you can't make a lion a lioness. But see, my thing is, with black women, mm. it's a financial thing for them. So if you ain't making more money than her, then you don't have more say so than her. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Not all black women for all y'all queens start getting in y'all feelings. <laughs> it's an exception. Some of y'all not like that. You gotta repeat that one again. Yeah. If if he, if you're not making more money than you, then you feel like he don't have more say so than you. But like homeboy said, in any other culture, it's not like that. And uh, Rashada Ali. Oh, damn, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm really fucked up. Y'all, you know I know who I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. In any other culture, it's not like that. A white mm. man can have no job. His wife can be make, working too. She's still going to ask him the man questions. He's still going to have the final say in the household. And you saying just because she allowed him to be the man. Yeah, she allowed him to be a man. Even if she got the two gigs. Yeah. Flat out. And then all these women get married. Like, don't get married if you ain't trying to be led. So what, I got a question. What happens if, because I had a girl tell me this one time. She was like, Demetrius, you you, uh, you talk down to me. Uh-huh. 
And I'm like, how am I talking down on you? I just be talking rich. Like the same shit we talking on this podcast. Right. I just be like, this was going on in this country or this is what happened to the black man. She's like, oh, you talking down on me. And I don't, I, I don't appreciate that. I'm like. But you got to listen to the positives. Yeah. Like, don't do that. Like, you're of, like, of, you know, something that could be negative. But we speaking on the positives of it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's not being talked down on. Like you said, it's, yeah. it, it happened. I mean, it, the, it the, exists. The chicken was salty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I would go as far as to say, and I've said this to people plenty of times before. I might get some flack, but I believe that a lot of our women are so in love with white supremacy, white culture. Yeah, where we get it, we know what we up against. We the low, the black man, the lowest on the totem pole in this country. That's a fact. And, and and we see the discrepancies and the thing that's going on. Whereas our women are trying to assimilate, they trying to get these doctors' degrees, they trying to run these. And they like, look what I'm doing now. Like this, is what I'm doing is like, for us, we can do all that. And we still a nigga. Yeah. All and I day. don't think mm-hmm. they don't understand that dynamic. Like I used to tell this chick, I'm like, you come home, you yell at me. But you go to work and you acquiesce to that white man. You listen to him. You yeah. don't yell at him. You don't get him that same energy you get in me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know what hey, I'm saying? That's real, though. <laughs> that's pure. Bro, these are all things that the black man is up against. For yeah. real. It's a good conversation for Black History Month. And speaking on what my man said about the young lady that said he was talking down to her, mm-hmm. stop thinking just because we together – I can't keep it real with you. Right. Everything I tell you is to help you, even, mm. if, it's, if, even if it's negative. You know what That's I'm saying? What I was saying. It's like. Flat out. Like, when I ask real. you, are you going to do your hair? I'm not. That's not a, a slight. I'm not coming for you. I want you to look presentable when you went out in the streets. You represent me. You ask because you Fuck can. around with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> Same way, if you ask me, damn, baby, you ain't going to get your hair cut? Like, I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm going to make that appointment. I ain't tripping. Right. Flat out. Yeah. But. The simple thing. Yeah. So it's like, women need to really like, um, I don't know, man. They For need to me, reevaluate their situation, bro. But just like how he presented the example and you piggybacked off it real quick, it's just like, bro, I'm a real detail oriented person for us, you know, like trying to figure out, okay, the cause to affect where we meet it in the means and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's it starts. And since we speaking on the queen, we ain't and that's what I'm saying. We we Don't let it out, brother. Go let it out. I was out, gonna say, don't can't don't say self accountability. Hey, hey ski over here seem like he just really wanna say what he wanna hey. say, but he can't say it. Bro, I'm <laughs> Let it out, bro. I'm gonna say that King you in, you in the safe room right now. Yeah, yeah you in the safe do. room right now, brother. But you know what I'm saying? The Queens gotta like, <laughs> they gotta listen, bro. They can't be selective listeners. Yeah. That is like one of the biggest pet peeves. Like, I could say a whole bunch of shit. It could be real, it could be fake. But you only heard this part of it. Women have their own translation they, of what you say. They they live in that gray area. Yeah. Like that's unfortunate, and I joke all day. I be like, "Damn, you gotta get that wax out," because I clearly <laughs> said X, Y, Z, but you only heard this. Yeah. It's just like I don't know. If I was a selective listener, I would not be successful. Bro. But see, like, and I give my queens credit. Like that energy is good when I'm with you and we out. And you might come across some people I'm cool with or some associates, and you'd be like, oh, this person ain't good. That's some good. That's cool. Like, put me yeah. on game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's, when it's me and you, mm-hmm. nah, baby, I'm telling you black and white, this is what I'm saying. Don't make no other big deal about something that I'm not saying, which right. the queens have a tendency to do, from my experience. They make a big deal off some shit that I didn't say. And I'd be like, hold on. Like history month, like Dr. King say, let's get the language right tonight. Let's start it. <laughs> yeah, start it exactly. It. Yeah, straight up. But I mean, it, women. I just women just always think black men are coming for them. They always man. do, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they keep us under a lot of stress. I ain't gonna cap. Flat <laughs> out. A lot of times we we be under stress, bro. Flat out, cause it be shit going on. And then you can't even express how you really feel because they take it the wrong way, like you said. Yeah, because with me, shit, I know I'm a, I was, 
I have slowly created or evolved to a better person for is just stressing off the shit you can't control. Uh Dealing dealing with a queen. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just like, I'm not finna take a a concern and turn it into somebody being worried. I ain't doing this shit no more. And I ain't really tied up into... You know what I'm saying? Being stressed out over shit that I have no power. Even though I don't want no power. I got power as a black man, but I'm just saying I ain't trying to be in control over what ain't in my control. And I ain't finna stress over it. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. Yeah, but you know what? We got to stop saying that we don't want no power. I'm finna clear this up right no, now. No, in that, in, that, in that case, a man that's needs why power. I said. That's, one of, that's, that's, that's in the DNA of a man. Yeah, you should, you should If you got a real man, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. I ain't telling y'all queens out here that got, you know what I'm saying, like, uh-huh. we cats. Like, uh-huh. if, if you got a man who not a, a, a whole man, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? Like, if you uh-huh. out here getting oil changes, changing changing tires, uh, you know what I'm saying, and all that other type of stuff, uh-huh. then you don't have a man, man. Bruh. But if you have a man that's taking care of you, uh-huh. a man uh-huh. needs power, bro. That's part of our structure. That's yeah, part of being a lion. That shit in the structure. That's part of being a lion. A lion wow. who doesn't have power gets took over by another lion. Wow. Take exactly. your whole pride, bro. Exactly. A lion will come up and take your whole pride. The whole, the lioness, the motherfucking, the cubs, everybody. We taking everybody. It's taking your whole pride. Hey, you seen Discovery Channel where they show them motherfuckers get the bang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They say that's when his shit yeah. get tested. Yeah. Yeah, bro. That's and you will see the motherfucker land. Or area that it was, hey. he just trot off yep. after the fight. Like I'm done, I can't do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Flat out. So I mean, it's an ongoing thing, bro. And I don't know if it's gonna ever be able to be. Now nah, it's getting worse because just like you saying, like there's a natural order mm. in which things should be, and and how our society has moved has become more synthetic. Yeah. And in a way, women have. Accomplish more material things Which has made them more masculine In a sense And so now They looking at men like Y'all need to catch up No we ain't never changed Yeah Y'all just lost y'all place In a natural order Cause well, they got you believing That you X, Y, Z Yeah and Y'all need to understand It's by design Uh huh Like this is not something like Facts America controls what's going on You know what I'm saying That's why the demolishment of black men is so populated. You know what I'm saying? It's so populated, bro. It ain't like that the other way around. So, when you you have women that are on the internet, especially the new generation, when they're on the internet and they got their own ideas of what a man's supposed to do, what a man's supposed to be, it gets extremely flawed on their end. Extremely flawed, especially if they didn't grow up with a man in the house. So you say a woman who grows up with a man in the house, I would I would almost tell a nigga don't even date her, unless she's uh uh mm. like a great thinker mm. and she mm. really wants to work shit out. She really wants to learn the man. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I think they need to do instead of marriage counseling. They need to start sending women to learn how men operate. And they need to start sending men to learn how women operate. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't got that, that's the basics. Right. You need to know what I need to thrive and succeed. And if you don't know that, if you just marrying me under your own pretense of what your mama showed you, and she here with her boyfriend, then... <laughs> It's already an issue. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But but what what has your mom really showed you? Because like I was raised in a, a single parent household by my mom and she didn't show me nothing about women. Only how I learned about women is dating women. Yeah. And so a lot of queens be like, I shouldn't have to tell you a grown man. I don't know sometimes. Like I really right. don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like what's the harm in kind of Teaching me a little bit, giving me some game. Yeah. Cause I'm willing to learn. It's not like I'm coming to the situation like, oh, you full of shit. It's like, nah, baby, I want to learn. Like, teach me some shit that right. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Right. And they won't, they won't, they, the women, I don't know why they think that we just supposed to know. But all men not gonna know this. All, like, all women ain't gonna know. The thing is, a man don't take what a woman tell him or 
um, maybe refers for him to do offensive. We exactly. don't you don't usually do that. Only a, a sensitive nigga gonna a light skinned <laughs> nigga, a sensitive nigga gonna do that. We yeah. don't do that. Scorpio. Yeah, just like uh <laughs> hold Drake up, hold up. Future, Lil Boosie, you know. Oh uh, yeah, they Scorpios. You know <laughs> yeah, them niggas, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah nah, man. but yeah, it's like you gotta you gotta know. Cause like I grew up with Bird. The one thing I had was, you know, I had a lot of men around me. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Growing up in church, you know what I'm saying? I saw a lot of marriage. I saw a lot. I saw a lot of everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Fucking with grandma down there in the city, I saw a lot of everything. Right. So I was more or less able to have right. a, a even gauge of Facts. what's what. Right. You know what I'm but some say, cats. It, was, it seemed like it was balanced for you because that's how it was for me. Yeah, but it's like some cats only got bird and aunties. Now, if you, if you see your mom's, your auntie, or even your grandma, you know what I'm saying? Because my granddaddy, he winding down all the way, you know what I'm saying? It's, and, and and was a true man of the house, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. And this granddad, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, the way they treated them, it was a reflection, bro. Yeah. For it's like, like you said, with the structure being mm-hmm. natural, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, she just came natural. So it's just kind of like, like you said, if if the new generation is literally forced to believe this how shit go, I need to go pull up at grandma house. Yeah. And just spark a conversation by looking at pictures. Yeah. And you can see the motion picture on how shit is supposed to really be, bro. No no black and white. Oh, you put that together right there. That That's was a ball. That was, that was, that was fuck. I was like, like, I like that. I like, damn. The it motion picture. Hey, I went you know up like, saying? damn, this nigga went off. <laughs> this nigga damn, that nigga shit. I almost cut an hey. instrumental for you, nigga. Because I ain't, I ain't never yeah. really tripped off of it. Like, if, if a female make more than you, you know what I'm saying? This is... I, Instantly, how she feels. Yeah, like a uh, black woman definitely they gonna put you down. But if you, if, this is the thing. If you making less money, mm-hmm. and you doing what you love, I don't feel like that should be an issue. If you making less money because you at a gig and you just not striving to just like mm-hmm. find something else that'll pay you more money, right? For years, right? Then I'm gonna put that on the man. Right, At right. some point, bro, you gotta you gotta want to ball out. You gotta you gotta want the the, the better dollar. Yeah, you gotta. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. everything got a scale. True. Flat out, like you can't be making a a 2015 salary in 2022. It's not. That's not what we doing. Right. But at the same time, like my man said, how the conversation started, women control everything. So, like I was saying, they control the nutrition. A woman controls the respect in the house, especially if his kids in the house. If the kids are you talking to this nigga gr- grimy, then shit, I ain't, man, I ain't man, listening but, to this nigga. And even with that, like if you send your mom's, or even if she's in a dating area, or whatever, like your your mom's or your auntie, they show you how a man, you know what I'm saying, supposed to treat you. Even though niggas may try. You know what I'm saying? But if if it's someone or anything that you've seen that was a consistent situation, being in a single-parent home, you will see, like, okay, Valentine's Day, roses galore, birthday, you know what I'm saying, dinner, just, uh, you know what I'm saying, doors being open, just, like, all of this shit, the offerings, the being yeah. more attentive to women, just, like, really just showing them, like, I got this, I got this, I got this, I'm going to get this done, oh, he got this done. Like, if you've seen shit being done, even if you was in a single parent home, you could really just see like how shit's supposed to go. Yeah. So like when they were saying you talking down on women, it's just like we seen some strong women in our day. So some women really gotta know you bro, you gotta have tough skin. You gotta be a woman, what they got in their back, a backbone. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Motherfucker gotta be strong, bro. <laughs> That's real <laughs> shit. So I'm, I'm with my. I'm gonna have to tune nah, in nah, on nah, the rents. Nah, nah, like well, what he was saying, like, like <laughs> you talking some real shit. Yeah, he in this bag right now. <laughs> he in this fucking bag. I'm like, damn, this nigga in this fucking bag. You heard me? Bro. I'm like, damn, I can't <laughs> disagree with none you saying. But like, I found myself like being raised by a single mom, and when I started dating when I was younger, I came mm-hmm. in a situation green. So I was doing everything like mm-hmm. trying to be nice, trying to be. Like trying to be a mm-hmm. gentleman 
Then chicks looked at me as a weak ass nigga. You hear me? Yeah. So my as my heart got yeah. colder, the yeah. chick start didn't want to leave me alone. It's okay. it's crazy. Like when yeah. I was nice to them, they didn't want to fuck with me. And then I start getting colder, they start fucking with me. Yeah, women are uh women need testosterone from a man. You know what I'm saying? Like they wanna they want they need you to take charge. I call it toxicity. <laughs> you call it toxicity. I think, up. I think. I think. I think every woman like a little healthy, oh, yeah. or unhealthy balance of toxicity. They I feel need like that make a relationship. Yeah, fun, though. yeah, 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 yeah. Like a lot of people be like, homeboy be tripping off how I say shit. The wifey that I know gonna get her going. That's yeah. fun to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she liked that. Yeah. yeah. And wifey like it straight up. Like hey. she love that shit. Like and it's like. I mean, it's definitely toxic, but you gotta <laughs> it gotta be it gotta be a perfect mix. You right. know what I'm saying? But you can't you can't do that with an insecure woman. Exactly. No. Oh my god, that's real shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't do no. that with an insecure woman. No, no. But no. I, like you can't talk about, you know what I'm saying, I gotta go pick up Daryl Jr. if you dating an insecure <laughs> woman. Is she gonna be like, What the fuck you mean, Daryl Jr.? It's like, I don't know. I've been thinking about what you ah, said yeah. the other day. It's yeah. a week. It's been a week, ski. It'll be fun. Do you really Watson. have a son? Say so he got an Ill Mac Jr. out here. Oh, he got yeah. a Lil James out here. Lil James. Right. <laughs> Go subscribe. Become a member of the Patreon, like, bro. Yeah, man. Why he be going in on Patreon? Yeah, but I got I do got a quick question for y'all. See what y'all what feel. Up? Have y'all have y'all found that y'all have dated women that's similar to like like your mom or your grandma or something like that. Cause I found that women I've dated, they've been similar to like how my mom is and mm -hmm. I've tried to save them in, in my own way. Yeah. Have y'all found that to be true from y'all experiences or what? Um, I'll just say some similarities. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then just like if they moms got some similarities just of like my mom, my mom just being a woman, just like, okay, I see where you get it from. Yeah, and I mean, then it's like you gotta see that shit though. Yeah, they can't just meet you and tell you. It's like I got, I really gotta see this shit. Yeah, I guess, um, I guess, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can say that. Number one thing I be looking for, man, is a good heart, dog. Yeah, you can't make right. a good heart. Ah, oh, right. Man. Motherfucker got to come with a good heart. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like you can't make a a, a demon engine. It motherfucker got to come with a demon engine. Right. You can make it have horsepower and do all that other shit, but it ain't gonna be the same. Right, so that's the main trait that I look for is a good heart. Can can y'all deal with a woman who physically put their hands on you? Oh hell no, nah. nah. Because at some point I'm gonna have to strike back, and I don't want to do yeah, that. It just <coughs> flat if you, out. I done had a chick that swung on me before. The, the cool, what? the cool niggas when they when like when we were staying together, that. swung on me. Straight dispute. Yeah. Wow, she swung on me. She connect. Nah. <laughs> She swung on me. I dip. Look, uh, she swung on me. I dip and I pushed her. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And she fell into the drywall. And, you know, the drywall had some holes in it. A little it. bump and grind. But after that, I was out. I already knew. Like, I don't want you to see me get that angry, bro. That's what I was saying. If you, if you get me that mad, yeah. I feel like some women like that. Yeah. So if you get me to that level where I'm that frustrated and that mad, I feel like you're going to try to do it again. That's a fact. She will. Because yeah. I've been through it. Yeah, she will. Yeah. You're going to try to get me to do it again. And yeah. I'm I'm not there. So once it comes to that point, I'm out. Right. Yeah, I ain't had to deal with that. Flat out. I ain't never had to pimp smack or, or, or hit a nigga. You know what I mean? Hit a, a woman. But yeah, dog. They, uh, they'll try you. And when they try you, when That's you get to that is. level, nah, I don't want to be with no woman that can get me angry enough to be like be ready on to try hit on her or she ready to hit me. Like, nah. Yeah, they be trying. That's what. That's all that is for real. Because if they ain't never did it, and then when they do it that one time, it's like they, they, they already been willing to try. You. It just came out that day. But, but then they do it, then they start throwing you that, you know, that kitty cat. Yeah. Like I hit you, baby. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's have a baby tonight. <laughs> it be the it be the best sex ever. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? And it be like, dog, like what the fuck am I doing, bro? Straight up. <laughs> And it be fire in the moment. You be like, you be like, damn, lost in the sauce. Am I here. in love? You feel me? <laughs> and then she hits you up like two days later on some bullshit. And you be like, man, look, I ain't finna be dealing with this motherfucker. Like, straight up, flat out. Man. 
So you said you'd have been through it. How long that last? Uh, some years. I don't want. I don't want to be too descriptive because they may know who I'm talking about. But some yeah. years. But some years. Yeah, off and on. Yeah, it was some years. Okay. Wow. Yeah, and I was. So you really cared? I thought I knew her heart was pure. Yeah. I felt that, but I don't think she knew how to express herself in the manner in which I understood. Because I'm like this. Like I like to solve a problem. Like we talk on this. What's wrong? Like yeah. let's figure it out. If I'm wrong, okay, I'm wrong, and then let's move on. Like that's me, but communication. Some people like I'm gonna take this broom handle and I'm gonna whack the shit out of you. Mm-hmm. Man, and it's like fam, that's not the way. That, a, that is not the way, bro. I would be because you you spoke on communication, right? Yeah, yeah. Fact. And I honestly don't think, bro, for me, I would be even if the physical part got involved. Silent killer. What if she had that clap back? It's still gonna clap back, but I'm I'm still <laughs> I'm still I'm still silent killer, bro. Really, nigga? <laughs> that nigga said it's still gonna clap back. Straight up, I'm just I'm gone. It's just see, and that's a that's like, a, I'm straight. You know what? Silent with it. Like. That's a that's an unspoken benefit. Mm-hmm. It's a benefit to a man to have. Some fire vagina before he goes on his quest of dating women. Mm. If you have the best when you're young, yeah, you can easily navigate. Yeah, uh, yeah. he's okay, and you know, yeah. a yeah. little wet, wet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a medium wet, wet. You are gonna be like, yo, yeah. shit ain't wet, this motherfucking Keisha, and, and yeah. with junior year. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you already you good. Right. You but if you don't get that. <laughs> Until you 35 Yeah You gonna end up in some fucked up shit Yeah that's a fact Yeah, yeah cause you gonna be like Man this is the best shit I ever had in my life <laughs> On God She not going nowhere <laughs> I don't give a fuck what she come with Like no Mm-mm. I ain't gonna never find nothing this good Yeah that's a fact You know what I'm saying Yeah But that's an unspoken benefit dog To get some, some good good when you young <laughs> Flat out Cause you not pressured in the future Right. You're like, hey, you think your, your shit a little bit. Shit. Yeah, your shit a little bit. Your shit ain't really like, you ain't, your shit ain't busting, busting. You know what I'm saying? You cool. And the mother, man, I don't know, motherfuckers got to tighten up. Because like you said, motherfuckers like it, you know. But it's like, nah, you just like it for the moment. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to keep on going through these moments, that shit might not but, last. Man, I had a chick one time. Well, it wasn't in, I didn't go through it. it in particular, but mm-hmm. one of my boys, he was staying with his baby mama at the time. They had some problems, and he was like, bro, I need to stay at your crib for a little bit to mm-hmm. get on my feet. Mm-hmm. Right. Cool. So he came to my crib, got a little job real quick just to make some money. She came up to my crib with a daughter. Uh-huh. He went outside 10, 15 minutes, came back inside, started breaking down like, man, I can't do this to my daughter. I'm like, bro, she got you. Yeah, she got. The kids, it. Hey, look, the kids. She showed up with the daughter. The Damn, def, they, the kids is definitely a tool. That wasn't even the appetizer, <laughs> nigga. Yeah. This the this the whole like, meal. I'm showing up. You ain't being the father to your your daughter. Yeah, fucking his head up. He like, damn. Yeah, he came in my crib, start breaking down, crying. I'm like, bro. Yeah, I'm bro. like, look, you need to do what makes you happy. F- if that means you need to be away for from her, you need mm. to do that and take care of your kid outside right. of y'all relationship. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, he went back in the sauce. But, see, so, that's the thing, and that's where so it comes to. Mm. Again. What? But that's the thing. <laughs> Damn. The women got that. Like, Woo. it's like they can go either way, right? Because she can throw that in his face, but at the same time, if he don't comply, then it can get uglier to where now when he want to see if she unavailable. That's you know what I'm saying. But they only do that to the niggas who want to be in their child life. <laughs> the niggas who don't care about their kids, Mitch, they're not on child support, bro. You peep that? <laughs> That's a message right there. You feel me? The niggas who don't like <laughs> fuck, them, fuck that goddamn kid. Them Facts. niggas never get put on child support. Right, yeah. right. It be the niggas who care 
They Damn. get on child support and Damn. have to struggle to see their kids. At the same time, they paying child support. Oh, I have heard situations where, okay, they got a couple baby daddies, <laughs> but maybe like two or three kids, and they say this one on child support, but this one not. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not in the indulging of comparing. Yeah. It's just more or less like, damn, the, the one that ain't on child support, like you said, they be really fucked up out here. Like, they don't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't so care. they spurn them, you know what I'm saying, thinking that they helping them out. But it's like, that ain't where the help started. The help started within them just follow through and doing what they supposed to do with fucked up situations out here, bro. Yeah, man. Um, Motherfuckers got to evolve out here, bro. Yeah, the black uh, relationship community really got to uh, do some work. You know what I'm saying? On the construction over here, my man. He know how about it. <laughs> <laughs> starting, yeah. with, starting with communication. You Flat know what I'm out. saying? Flat out. Yeah. Like, if you're supposed to be my best friend, I'm supposed to be able to tell you everything without exactly. you reacting in any type of way. Yeah. Other than I love you and I want to give you the best advice I can give you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And me can't operate like that. Hey. Like, nigga, you never go in the booth saying, look, hey, it's this girl that just started to gig. And, like, <laughs> she bad. And I really been having the urge to holler at her. Right. And secure woman can't take that. No. Nah. <laughs> she ain't going to be able to take that. She ain't going to be able to take nah. that, bro. Well, go fuck the bitch then. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A secure woman, she going to be like, okay, well, I mean, you know, bring yeah. her over. I'll cook dinner. You let me meet her. If I like her, we can three-way. <laughs> that, that's in the non-realistic. You know <laughs> like, that's every man's dream. You hear me? Spicy. <laughs> that's the dinner box, nigga, Popeye. Spicy. But that's what, hey, look, that's what I'm saying. Uh, women have to understand we lions. One lion has multiple lionesses in his pride. Peep that. There's never one lioness. It's always multiple. The nigga Ed been watching Discovery Channel this weekend <laughs> and shit. No, I been watching Discovery. I just, I just. That's real shit. Though, I man. fuck with the lion because I'm from U City. Already, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So I did a lot of studies when I was younger. I know what's up. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. But Chad, Ski, what you got for the people, man? What you want to leave the people with this week, man? And we episode 179. We moving Yo. and grooving. My man's in came through and dropped some gems on you. Big gems. And he spoke to, he even sparked up the stokey. <laughs> so you know the communication and the vibes was on Fact. point. All yeah. day. But yeah, shout out to everybody that's been a real supporter that's uh, dropping the comments, telling a friend, telling a friend, spreading the word about Urban Access Network out here. Shout out to everybody that joined the Patreon for Mr. and Mrs. Mac podcast. Sure. Drop a comment on that too. <laughs> Be on the lookout for the new merch. Spring coming up. Y'all better get y'all hoodies. You know, that's, that rain and that wind going to mix. You're going to need something <laughs> nice and breezy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Grind until it happens. That's the logo on the back of the hoodie. That red one is fire. It's still going hard. But uh, oh, yeah. follow your boy on the gram on my new page, Daryl Felton Jr. Yeah. And uh, like I said, Mother's Day, Father's Day coming up and Easter. So be on the lookout for yeah. Dolly and Dirt. Women got another holiday coming up. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Well, that that be for the kids too. Hey, yeah. shout out to my mom. Hey, is that? Shout out. <laughs> hey, I got a, out. I got a question real quick. What up? Before we end about that page, that ain't the same page that was hacked. I know you was on some big. Yeah. Coins. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the same page that was hacked. He made a video and everything for them niggas. They got him good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, getting email. I was getting some emails from your hack shit. I, yeah. I hit them up like, is this shit real? Yeah, no, hey, this shit ain't real. My partner from Cali named Bino. Shout out to Bino, bro. He put up the realest comment ever. Like, like he knew it was some bullshit, but he asked them, like, I'm going to throw you a rack or some shit. They was like, yeah. bet. He started hitting laugh emojis like, man, stop yeah. playing. They, they out here hacking real. pages, And bro. real shit, too. I'm, I'm going to put game on my consumers and all of that. But for real, go. Follow my new page, man. But be on the lookout for any people that's involved in the NFT world. Yeah. Bro, I just threw up a joke about uh, MLK. Yeah. I won first place. I drew MLK like in the fourth grade. Motherfucker hit my DM going to ask me about NFT. <laughs> but on some hacking shit telling me to sit. Yeah. All right, man. Hey, man. If anybody hits you on your DM talking about bro. cash apps and donations, don't do it. They need to be cold. They didn't. Uh, yeah, because his, his, yeah, his, his shit, shit had you going to a website, nigga. They was trying to get your whole nigga social, nigga. 
Fuck wow. the cash app. They wanted your body. Yeah, I saw that. I was talking about sending. I said I had to hit him. I said, "Nigga, is this real?" He said, "Nah, bro, I got hacked." See, and he got him a new page. But okay. you made a video. They got yeah. you. Like they had everybody seen it. They had this nigga and got him along with the with yeah. the yeah. 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 He was posting posts. I'm yeah. like, what's ski on? He, he was trying to get that ten grand, bro. They talking. My people's talking to the hacker like this. I'm like, no, that's not me. Yeah, that's not me, bro. But yeah, shout out to the <laughs> hackers and the watchers. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get money right for real. Stop playing out here in the street. Meese, what you got for the people, man? man? I'm, just, a gym I'm, just, I'm just glad to be in the presence, man. And y'all queens so, got to get it together in 2022. You know, we can't we can't keep saying New Year's and y'all ain't getting that shit together. That's it. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a fact. <laughs> Straight up. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm going to give you your... Uh, give you your, uh, your, your, your podcast schedule. It's just once a year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, if you feel like you want to do two, you come back and do two. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy being on her flat out. Yeah, yeah. Dog. You, you got once a year. Dog. You on schedule <laughs> once a year. It don't matter when the fuck it is. Wherever, wherever you at, nigga, we'll come. Yeah, you dig. But uh, yeah, man, follow me at Ilmac three one four. Man, follow Mr. and Mrs. Mac podcast on IG. And uh, yeah, stay prayed up. And if you too gangster to pray, nigga, at least thank God. You feel me? And it's Black History Month on you, niggas.